Hi, Dr. Shiva. I need an uh, explanation on the immune system short and sweet. Okay, the immune system, here's a simple explanation. First of all, the immune system is like the operating system of your body. If you, if you take your iPhone or your Android, you know they have an operating system and all the apps run about it on top of it? Well, if you think it very simply, your immune system is the operating system. All your other systems leverage that, your cardiovascular system, your respiratory system, etc. What the big pharma medicine has done is they divide everything up into little diseases. But at the core of it is your immune system. Now, why do I say that? If your immune system is composed of essentially uh, a bunch of little boxes interacting, one of them is your innate immune system, which is the system that's in your eyes, your nose, and your throat. When a bacteria comes, that's the first thing that reacts. Then there's another system called your interferon system. A lot of MDs don't even know about this. It's a system that's a missing link that when a virus comes, all these genes get upregulated to protect you from other viruses, okay? It's quite extraordinary. And then you have your adaptive immune system. The adaptive immune system is like sharpshooters, and they take out individual pathogens using antibodies. But that's not it. Uh, underneath all this and around all of this is a microbiome, which is in your gut. It's all the 60 trillion bacteria, plus another 380 trillion viruses, which are called the virome. And all of this stuff, if it's in your gut, interacts through the gut-brain axis to your brain or your neural system. Okay? So all of these things are interacting. It's a very complex system, but the most important thing with the immune system is what you need is different than what I need, what he needs, or what anyone else out, out there needs. One size does not fit all. Look, I'm a PhD out of MIT. This is what I studied. I'm considered one of the leading experts in the world on personalized and precision medicine. I gave the talk several months ago at the National Science Foundation on the modern theory of the immune system. Bottom line, is the immune system is a complex system. But most importantly, you need to learn the fear mongering saying the virus is gonna hurt you. The virus eats away your flesh like Ebola. The virus destroys your lungs. It's total bullshit. This is a reality. If you have a strong and good working immune system and it's not weakened and dysfunctional, your body knows how to take a hit. It produces the right antibodies. All your systems come together. You may get a sniffle, you may get slightly sick, and you come back stronger, okay? But if you're weak and dysfunctional, immune system, pre-existing conditions, if you have, you know, you smoke and you're obese and you have all these other issues, your body will overreact and it'll start not just attacking that virus, but it'll attack places where those viruses land. In the case of coronavirus, it goes to your lungs. Your body is attacking itself. In the case of the Ebola, it goes to your endothelial. Right? It attacks and you start uh, parts of your heart and you start bleeding or the arteries. You see what I'm saying? So the bottom line is if you take care of your operating system, your immune system, everything takes care of itself. Western medicine creates individual diseases. At the heart of it is your immune system. That's what it is. So the bottom line is the way you protect your immune system, have good relationships with people, laugh, have social relationships. You boost antimicrobials with lower inflammatory compounds, number one. Vitamin D from the sun that your body creates. Awesome, vitamin A, iodine, zinc, and there's many other nutrients, but the bottom line is one size does not fit all. Mandated medicine from top down is never going to work for everyone, it may work for some people. So boost, boost your immune system, build community, boost immunity.